there are a lot of individuals who give in so many different ways. We've discussed it in business. We've discussed it here in the film industry. But now Kendall is coming to discuss it in a way that you might not consider. It leads to life-changing results. Kendall, you have a guest in Kendall's yes, Corner. Yes, I is do. She? I have Corey Smelker here joining me. And she is the founder of Surrogate of Angels. Surrogate is that Angels of San Antonio. Of San Antonio. And she is a surrogate mother. And talk to us a little bit about how many children you have of your own. <laughs> and then how many children were you a surrogate mother for? I have five of my own. And then I carried six babies for other couples. Six. I had twins. And then I had singletons. And I carried a set of siblings for one family. Oh, my goodness. So 11 total 11 pregnancies. Total. Yes. Okay, so tell, 10 pregnancies, 10, 11 babies. 11 babies, wow. So tell me, what inspired you to become a surrogate mother and to give the gift of another life to a precious family that could not have their own children? My husband and I get pregnant really, really easily. I mean, I got pregnant on the pill. So I just, I, I have an... <laughs> Those of you that are watching, it's 99.9%. <laughs> I know, and I did it twice on the pill. So I just have an incredible propensity to getting pregnant, but I saw friends around me were struggling so hard. And in fact, the music pastors at our church in Michigan were going through the IVF process, as in, in okay. vitro fertilization, yes. to try and get pregnant. And they had spent thousands of dollars. And yes. I remember turning to my husband, who was on the worship team with them, and saying, if it doesn't work for them, I would like to offer to be Aww. their carrier. And he, he kind of blew him up what, a little bit because he had no idea what it meant. So I explained what it was. I had done some research already. It was already in my heart. They ended up getting pregnant, so we never... Never yeah. had to carry for but, them. Never but. did. And then we moved here to Texas. Um, we were in Michigan at that time. We moved to Texas. And it just, it just grew in my heart that this was something I really wanted to do because I was done having my own children. But I saw the heartache of families yes. who wanted their own biological children, not necessarily wanted to adopt. And I thought, I can help. This is a tangible way. Because so many Give. people say, I'll pray for you. But I'm beyond that. I'm like, if I can do something to help, I want to be able to do that. I'm a very practical person. That is so good. So what does it take? How does somebody go to become like, you know, they want you to carry their child for them. What is the steps and how does it take the whole family to get involved? <laughs> well, you do have to have your whole family involved. If your husband's not on board, I don't recommend you try because you may actually split your family up while trying to create somebody else's family. Right. So your family has to be totally on board. Generally what happens is a couple will have been trying for a while to get pregnant. They will have gone to an IVF clinic their clinic will work with them, and then they may eventually say to them, look, you are not going to get pregnant on your own. And some couples know right from the beginning that they're not going to be able to. And then That's they right. recommend a clinic, a, 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 an, agency. an agency. And here in town, I'm the only agency, so they come to they me. They come to you. They come to me, and then I'll work with that couple to find them the perfect carrier that will work well with them, with their personalities and their belief system, and then I'll match them and we'll go through the whole yeah. process. Okay, I know when I was pregnant, I was very attached to the child growing inside of me, praying over them, filling their kicks. How do you separate yourself from the child that's growing inside of you? And how active are the parents that you're caring for involved in the delivery through the whole process? Well, I think every surrogate that I've worked with, and indeed my, my own self, you, you separate right from the very beginning. You know it's not your baby. Now, let's say okay. you're a working mom and you need to find a daycare for your child after the child is born. You go out and you find the best possible daycare. The person's going to love your baby, look after your baby. Right. But when you pick your child up at six o'clock, you expect them to give the baby back to you. That's, right. That's the way we see surrogacy is we are looking after your baby until such time as the baby's ready to go home with you. We're not giving the baby back to you. It is That's your right. baby. Yeah. It's been your baby from the very beginning. And so there is very much an emotional separation. Okay. Now, I did pray over every single baby that oh, I carried. So and I, I love them. When I see them, there's a special bond there, but certainly not an attachment like attachment. I have for my own children. Do you still keep up with the families after and the children? I do, yes. In fact, one couple live right around the corner from us, and we see their children quite frequently. And every single parent, you asked about the involvement. Yes. My personal... My personal preference is to have them in the room to be the first ones to hold their babies. Because once you know you've, you've delivered your own, they bring the baby, yes. put it right on your chest. That's not, that's not my baby. I don't want that experience. I want the mom to experience okay. that. So I have the doctor give the baby right over to the parents so that they, as, as much as possible, get as many of the firsts as they can. I don't test to find out whether I'm pregnant. I want the clinic to call them and tell them. I want them to be the first, first. to know everything as much as possible because they've got no control over this. Aww. They have to give complete control over to their carrier. That's and in order to try and make it as much as their experience as possible, I 
I give them as many of the first as I can. That is so awesome. Well, Corey, you are doing a wonderful job of giving life <laughs> to a you. precious couple that they could have their own baby. If anybody wanted to find out more information on surrogacy, how can they find you? They can just go to my website, surrogateangelsofsanantonio.com, or to my Facebook page, which is also surrogateangelsofsanantonio.com. Thank you so much for joining me, Corey. It was Thank a pleasure you. to have you on the show today.